Okay, so by now we should know which Mortal Kombat is really the most highly rated Mortal Kombat. I know I joke around a lot about the last two being the best Mortal Kombat as well. This is a more serious video, and in my honest opinion, this is the best Mortal Kombat. And I have multiple reasons to have this opinion. You know, the story mode, the gameplay, the, uh, the content. But another reason, which I believe is so underrated, is they have good-ass catchphrases. And I know some think MKX's phrases were better because they were actually directed towards somebody. They were actually interactions. But I always go back and I remember that MK9 started it all with the catchphrases. And since I have yet to find a top 10, top 5, top whatever Mortal Kombat phrase list or whatever y'all want to call it, I'm doing my own and giving my own opinion of which ones I think is the best. So here goes. Now I'm only doing eight of these, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up as quickly and cleanly as possible. My number eight spot is Goro in the story mode of Mortal Kombat 9. This phrase alone shows you he's a warrior of honor and respect. Although they make him a sore loser and obsessed with Liu Kang later in the story mode, this phrase alone still makes him an honorable prince. For the Shaolin. Now this line right here, it indicates to me that Kung Lao is ready to die for the Shaolin. He's ready to die for Liu Kang. He's ready to die for Bo Raicho. He ready to die for his brethren back at the Wuxi Academy. And all of that dedication and representation, when it's executed properly, is so fucking badass. And here, it's executed pretty fucking weird. We are many, you are but one. It's really already expected for this catchphrase to be in a list like this. This is one of the most iconic catchphrases ever. You can't have a Mortal Kombat 9 top 10 catchphrases without having this in it. It actually made it over into MKX, which makes it pretty fucking badass, but not enough to make the number one spot. Hearing a deity such as Raiden gets so fucking pissed over the death of a mortal, it shows you the bond that he has with Kung Lao and Liu Kang. It shows you that bond. It also shows you a darker side's Raiden. He's so fucking pissed he's willing to kill Shao Kahn right now. He's not supposed to participate in Mortal Kombat or any of the tournaments. He's willing to break those rules off of poor Kung Lao, who is just a mortal, and giving you a sneak peek of the darker raid who's to come in the next Mortal Kombat games. Let us see if smoke can freeze. Shang Tsung or not, that was a cold ass line. It, it just sounds so fucking threatening. I mean, I guess the delivery is what makes it so fucking threatening. He has that deep ass voice, it makes it threatening. And I honestly don't think anybody else could have delivered this line better than the voice actor who played Sub-Zero in MK9. Now, you will feel death's cold now believe it or not, I'm actually more of a Scorpion fan than a Sub-Zero fan. But I gotta hand it to Sub-Zero. He has the better lines. At least, Bai Han has the better lines. Now, the line could be a good line with bad delivery. But as I said before, nobody could deliver these lines like the voice actor that plays Sub-Zero. His delivery is what make Bai Han's lines so goddamn badass. An anemic effort from ineffectual deity. Today, I become the Elder God. Now if you don't know already, the line I wanted you to pay attention to is the last line. But it was intentional that I left the first line in because it shows you how powerful Shao Kahn is and how powerful he feels. He feels untouchable right now. So the last line has so much more meaning when he said it. This is a powerful structure in words. When he delivers the line, it sounds like he's been waiting to say that for so long because of that strong performance by his voice actor. 
more stealthful than the night. More deadly than the dawn. Before this game, I wanted nothing to do with Sector. Yeah, I played with him a couple of times in MK3, but that's about it. I didn't really care for him. But after this game, I see that he's the most dedicated Lin Kuei out of all of them, actually. Cyrax didn't even want to become part of the Cyber Initiative. But Sector was pushing him, and he even wanted to do it. He wanted to lose his free will off of the Lin Kuei. This makes for a great story. I wish they would push this aspect more. I want to know what goes on in the Lin Kuei headquarters. I want to know all of that. How the Cyber Initiative started, and uh, what, what process was made for them to make the choice to push the cyber initiative all of that i want to know about all because sector's performance in this game not only this line but this is one of the lines that made me think damn sector is badass he's one of the most badass characters ever he's definitely a threat making this one of the most badass lines in mk motherfucking history